Welcome back. Let's play Skyward Sword. Since last time we actually, well, we know where to be, really. You really gotta bug me right now as I'm talking. We know where to go. Yeah, she's saying how the column of light is perfectly visible from here. That ah, reminds me of that light pillar from uh, Tales of Symphonia, kind of. Ah, we can definitely read that text, right? Okay, good. Good. We can read these texts. That's good. That'll be good for this LP, because I really don't feel like saying everything she's talking about. Trust me, her probability stuff will get annoying from here on in. You thought Matthew was annoying? Hey, listen! Hey, listen! Yeah, no, no. V is worse. Much, much worse. I warn you now, viewers. Oh, nice pillar of light. I will be doing a lot of editing throughout this Let's Play when it comes to backtracking the places. Just because it's a lot easier to do. Yeah, I guess so. It, 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 yeah, it's on the map too. Thanks, V. We, we, we couldn't figure that out on our own. Oh, goodness, for, well, whatever. Forbid we couldn't figure it out on our own. Eh, whatever. Let's get going. You can also hold the Z button to look down uh, as you're flying over something. And as you see that little dive icon, you hit down on the D-pad and, well, we die. Oh, this is like the only time you'll see this cutscene as we're diving down because it's our first time to the surface world. I wonder why they're going to go through the cloud barrier. Man, I must mean the whole place is covered in clouds. Can you imagine living on the surface and it's cloudy? all the time, like, the sun's rays never truly hit your face type of thing. Man, that's a long fall. Yeah, you, you don't have to use the B button. It's like, it'll do it automatically, I should say, when it comes to falls like that. It's when you jump off a cliff and you fall, then you, well, you will need to use the B button. Otherwise, you'll get hurt. But for the cutscene falls, well, you don't have to, but you can. So by your calculations, how do you calculate these things? Man, you'd be great for math tests. Can you imagine just having your sword next to you? Uh, what's three times three? It, the probability would be nine, Master. Yeah, thank you, Fee. Oh, I'm gonna get nailed my math test now. Or something like that. So this is what the surface looks like. Well, our map so far. And we only uncovered a little part of the map. And we somehow automatically know what it's called. I bet Fee knows what it's called. Okay, well, that's pretty nice. Seems like a decent sized map. Well, no duh, Fee. Of course we're gonna proceed with caution. I haven't been here before. Anyways, here's a, a bird statue we can't use yet. Is that a spider or a bush? That's a bush. It's like a dead spider? Yeah, no. So these are Deku Babas. Just like in every other Zelda game, except that this time we have to cut accordingly to where their mouth is. Like, if I try cutting this Deku Baba horizontally, it won't work. But vertically, it will. So, that's real nice. What's nice about this game is it teaches kids vertical and horizontal. What is it now, Fee? Oh, you do, do you? Let me guess. We're on the ground kind of information? No, really? Well, I guess if you haven't played a Zelda game before, uh, it is somewhat useful information, but... No, it's not. So now we have two, so that means we have to get in and get out quick. So I didn't get that one as quick as I wanted to. Oh, jeez. Yeah, don't worry about using your shield right now. If you take a hit, just take a hit, because there are some hearts down here, actually. Yeah. See the hearts to my right there? Oh, cutscene time, apparently. Oh, yeah, this one. Oh, okay. My bad. Oh. Alright, uh, Link, are you hallucinating right now? Are you pulling a Leon from Resident Evil 4? I actually think Ashley hallucinated more than Leon. Well, Leon did have that one nightmare. Whoa. That's some darkness. Is that... No, it can't be the guy from Naruto. No way! Now, now that's a... That's a different type of thing. That's anime. No. That's not creepy at all. Oh, creepy music. Oh, it's that... Hey, that's the thing that ate Zelda in our nightmares. Wow, oh, got a headache already? Ow. I hate headaches. Switch to our math tests? Oh, they're horrible. Oh, that's a that's a big whale. Whoa. A lot of teeth, too. 
I think I think it has more teeth than sharks do, just because it's bigger. It has three layers of teeth. Man, can you imagine how hard it would be to brush that thing's teeth? Oh man, that'd be horrible. That'd be like babysitting a giant monster. I guess we shouldn't assume it's a monster yet, but it's not here. Why do we keep seeing this giant dark whale thing? Huh? Seems like we're by some sort of ancient architecture. Anyways, I do want my heart now. Thanks. Thanks, game. Huh, that's a weird looking door. It has an eye on it. Kinda reminds me of the eyes Sheik has on her clothing. His clothing. Yeah, I make that kind of mistake often. Yeah, they're sealed shut! Well, I wonder if my strike would open it. No, it did not. Yeah, I tried that my first time too, but I thought I should just show you. Huh? Looks like a pretty decent fall. Yeah, my first time I ran all the way around, just because I forgot we have the sail cloth. It's like, not really used to it. It's like, why don't you just jump down? I, I, I don't know. I forgot. Yeah, we should jump down, though. How does it know I'm young? Hey, I, I'm 18, aren't I? I'm not a child. I'm an adult now. Well, I like to think of ourselves as adults. Huh? This is an interesting place. Where is the sword of the goddess? Oh, why? Well, why the evil aura? Who's talking to me? Literally. Link, are you going crazy? You're hearing voices in your head? Well, it does look a bit dark, and, well, the goddess is light, so maybe we could get that darkness away from this stone thing. Kind of looks like a sword. Oh, it brought up the air geysers. Oh, that's pretty useful. Kind of. It reminds me of the, the air geysers in the volcano areas in Minish Cap, where Link uses Ezlo to jump into the air geyser and, like, float around in the next area. I like those puzzles. I thought they were very creative. So Link's not going to use his hat to get up there. No, we, we got the sail cloth. Uh, no, I don't care about the dowsing. In my, in my opinion, dowsing really, really sucks in this game. There's like only two or three times where I'd actually use dowsing when I actually need to look for something. But it won't stop beeping until you check it out. So basically you hold it down, you check to see what you want to douse, and then it'll beep. So I wonder where Zelda is. Oh, it's beeping. So where the arrow's going is that it'll blink in front of you. So we know Zelda is in that direction. I mean, there are points where it could be useful, but in my opinion, dowsing, you know, it's just not useful. So, well, forget about it. Well, it's a lot better useful things in this game, but okay. That's not really one of them. Yeah, let's just take the geysers all the way up to, well, save ourselves a long walk. Oh, that was a cool game. Really? Can I, I can't get over there at all, huh? Jeez, that, that wasn't nice at all. That sure is a big area. Almost, there we go. Okay, let's try this one. <laughs> Put a geyser right in front of the gate. Well, gee, that was nice. Oh, I, I can't go that way, can I? Well, what the heck, game? Huh, okay. I guess we're going the other way. We have to go all the way around. I mean, you don't have to. I guess I, take, I took the wrong air geysers to go all the way around, but at least in Skyward Sword, we have that nice dash ability to save us some time. I know we have to wait for it to go up, but there is something in the potion shop called a stamina potion to where you can run like as long as you want for like three minutes or yeah, I think it is three minutes or something like that and it's like 50 rupees. It's a little on the pricey side since we're a little tight on money in the beginning of the game, but it could be pretty darn useful. I mean, I've only used it once, but well, I don't think there's really any more need to use it more than once. Okay, well, we have to figure a way to get this door to be unsealed. Oh, it, it just goes away on its own. Yeah, I never understood why it just went away. I mean, maybe there's a reason why it went away, or when we, str when we struck that little stone thing that dark aura was coming out of, it decided to say, oh, let's just open the door for him. I guess. Oh, huh. sealed temple, huh? Hmm. Interesting temple. Okay. Doesn't seem too bad. Huh? Oh, is that a person with a really big hat? 
No way! Or a cloak that's also a hat. Oh, it kind of looks like a tent. Yeah. Hey, how do you know I descended from the clouds? Are you a psychic? A fortune teller? Maybe you're a hypnotist, because your, your hair kind of... Or maybe that's a rope, and it's not really your hair, but okay. Um, my name's Link. Oh, yeah. We, we have figured that out already. Thanks for telling us that. Oh. It's proof that I'm fit to carry it? Well, if someone else tried drawing the sword, could they not use the Skyward Strike at all? I wonder. Okay, yeah, you guys can read that too. I'm, I'm paranoid about the text in this game, viewers. I, I just am. Oh, well, yeah, I guess the roof's broken, but at least has some sunlight, so if you want to go sun tanning, I guess you can just lay out the mirrors and tan yourself here. Don't have to go anywhere. Well, I guess so. Oh, I guess fate has gears. I guess there's like another dimension where all, all our time has gears and... No, no, it's actually just a simile. No, you know it's a metaphor, but whatever. Oh, really? Can we just take a coffee break or how about we can just say, Oh, we're turning in our, we're turning in our, uh, our applications of saving the world. Or do we go back to the sky and live happily ever after? Oh. She does, does she? And what's that? Oh, she's set for Pharaoh Woods? The same woods from Twilight Princess? Yes, it is. It's the exact same name. So, Pharaoh Woods is that way. Now, see that little blue dot thing in the top left corner? Yeah, that's basically a beacon. That beacon will shoot light up into the sky, and it'll help you get there if you're trying to run there. But, well, I know this game like the back of my hand, for the most part, and... So, I'm, I really don't need the beacons at this point in the game. But, you know, I'm just gonna use it here to... Oh. Oh, see, okay. I'm gonna put it here just for the sake of showing you guys, but I really don't need it until we get to the third area in this game. Oh, really? Okay, I guess I should leave the temple. Oh, yeah, when you don't have... If you need to use a like a beacon, or you don't have use for a certain beacon, you can just uh, pick it back up with C once you go into your map screen. So that's really nice. I like how they did that. <laughs> Too bad we couldn't rename Zelda. I mean, we could we could name Link any name we want, but we can't rename Zelda. Too bad they don't name their birds in this game. That'd be pretty interesting. I name my bird the Red Hawk or Red Dragon or something awesome. I don't know. Oh, okay. So she unlocked the door doors for us. So you're just a random traveler that's been waiting for the hero of destiny to come here? That's not odd at all. Ah, oh, I was gonna say, I thought there was a treasure chest here. Inside this chest we get a revitalizing potion! And a, our second bottle in the game. There's only four bottles in this. Oh wait, no, I think there's five bottles in this game. Huh, now I can't remember. Well, forget it. Four or five. And I think there was one Zelda game that has six bottles. Was that Majora's Mask? I'm still working on my test run. I just got the Snow Peak Mountains, and I'm trying to figure out how to get my heart pieces in order, taking notes down on it, so I could hopefully LP Majora's Mask someday soon. And by someday soon, I mean like six months, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. I'm surprised I started this one as soon as I did. Okay. Oh, I still birdies. Hi, birdies! Oh, birds are gone. Oh, well. Oh, jeez. Looks like a bunch of enemies are are threatening that Goro. <laughs> Out of the way! Hey, looks like you can need some help. Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, see how every time I'm striking him? Well, not every time, but see where out. See where his sword's at? All you have to do is go in the opposite direction of their swords, and well, you'll be just fine. Oh, you're welcome, Mr. Goron. Yeah, we know he's a Goron. Anyone who's played any other Zelda games know that this guy is a Goron. Can we read that text, too? Oh, thank the Lord we can. How am I doing on time? I'm doing good on time, too? Oh, second of my kind? So you've never seen an elf before? Oh, oh my bad. Let's go with the translation of a human. Yeah, anyone pointing his ears is definitely a human. No, humans have curved ears. Round ears. And look at Tales of Symphonia. Look at Lord of the Rings. Elves have pointy ears. 
But you know, let's just not get in that argument. Let's just drop it. Forget it. Oh, really? What do you think that place is like? Oh, the Isle of the Goddess. You're not going to tell us what you think it's like, are you? Oh, maybe this statue has something to do with it. Oh, he believes it. Yeah, at this point, if you're on the surface, I guess you'd have crazy speculations like this guy. Yeah, yeah, definitely does. Yeah, I love ancient cultures. Let's go on a ruin, ruin mania like Rain from All Tales of Symphonia. Man, she got crazy when it came to ruins and ancient architecture and stuff like that. And the residents, oh, perfect society. Oh, well, if you got bullying a perfect society, sure. But they don't have to worry about monsters besides at nighttime, so yeah, they, they have it pretty good. I guess it would be more advanced because they have houses and stuff. I mean, the only place I see down here is a temple, but, well, then again, we haven't explored the whole surface world yet, so. Well, we'll see. Oh, what kind of wonders don't we have here? All the buildings are made of gold? Well, that would be freaking awesome! Uh, but we don't have gold buildings, buddy. And we, we don't live forever. Oh, crowd of pumpkins that never rot? Wow, that'd be nice. Oh, the weather. Oh, yeah, I guess the weather would be pretty good, but you think the weather would be colder because it's up in the sky? Well, does sound pretty amazing to me. Uh, sure, I'd like to hear more about your speculations. Ooh. Sure, why not? I got nothing better to do. My viewers don't mind, do you guys? Listening to this go on? Oh. Oh, you can't tell me anymore. Okay, sure. I don't know how you're going to get some latest info, but, well, why not? Hello there, statue. Oh, it's starting to Ooh. glow. How nice. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, that's exactly Ooh. what I did. I'm going to summon Zant now while I'm at it. No, no, that's a different game. Yeah, Zant. Well, now we can actually save our game. I always love saving my game. It's just, it's smart to save every time you see a statue. And there's a reason why I'm going to save it every statue, too, but, well, I'm going to tell you guys that later. If I remember later. I don't want to spoil it. Oh, wait, actually, no, that's a bad idea to tell you guys later. You want to save it every statue, because when you come back down, you can uh, uh, free fall back down to where the statues are at. And if you don't see every statue, I did this in my second run-through, um, we won't be able to fall there. So, yeah, save it every statue. Now, what I want to do is roll and get this bug on the wall. Because I want this uh, wooden rhino beetle. So every time you run by here, just roll into the wall and you can pick them up. Yeah, we don't need a bug catching net to get this beetle, so that's pretty nice too. All I have to do is run into him. And uh, there's usually ladybugs on these vines, but not today. But what I want to do is we want to go up these vines anyways and go to the other side so we can just create a really cool shortcut between this and the sealed grounds. Well, yeah, by pushing this log over. Alright, we're gonna push it over like in Mega Man. I think Mega Man had pushing logs, right? Or I'm thinking of a different game. Well, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I, I'm, I think of a lot of video games when I play a video game. I like connecting them together, because I'm a commentator. It's what I do. We don't need to talk to you again. <laughs> that's perfectly okay. Oh, see that light? That That's our beacon, so that's pretty nice. But we can't make that jump, and we can't run up the wall. But, conveniently for us, there's this giant log here. Man, it's almost cutting down trees and just putting logs in the middle of nowhere. I guess they forgot to take their, log their wood with them. I guess they have less furniture in their houses. Well, whatever. Yeah, so that beacon will go straight into the sky. How nice. Now, it's, this is a prequel to Twilight Princess, so the woods are going to look a lot different than it does in Twilight Princess. Not just because of the graphics, either. Hi, Fee. You gonna tell me something we already know? Literally. She always does. And we've made it to Ferron Woods. That's a big tree. They can have that tree in Twilight Princess. Well, yeah, it's been like thousands of years. Of course the landscape's changed. Well, about a thousand years or something like that. No, they got mushrooms too. What? Ah, oh, those mushrooms remind me of something. And no, it's not the mushrooms from Mario. It's something else. But I, I honestly can't remember it right now. Cool, we got a big portion of our map taken care of. 
That's awfully nice. I like how it zooms in, like, where exactly you're at, just to make you feel like the world's really, 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 really big. No, no, it's not that big. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty good size, but you'll see as we get further into the game that it's not as big as Twilight Princess or anything. Or Wind Waker, for that matter. But Wind Waker was basically... Ah, uh, are you seriously gonna beep? I hate it when it beeps at me. Stop beeping at me! I mean, I don't mind the hearts, but it just beeps. Alright, see this? Get off me! Okay, I don't want to explain that to the suit, but... Those little spiky things, they'll explode on you if you let them. Just do a spin attack and you'll be able to get rid of them. Now, see these trees right here in front of us? Well, basically, these trees that have this glowing orange part in the middle of them, all you have to do is slice it diagonally and you can get some money off it. I only got one rupee, but that's okay. Now, you can't, you can't get the grasshopper without having a bug catching net, so... Don't worry about it. Oh, you guys are attacking a bush? Oh, that's a that's an animal. What do you know? Well, yeah, I usually like just slashing my sword around until I get it. There we go. Have a nice fall. Well, I should say that. Hey, are you okay? Oh, what a cute little animal. Are you okay there, buddy? Yeah, it's gone quiet. Because I killed the enemies. What is this creature, and how can it help us find Zelda? Does it know where Zelda is? Find out next time on Let's Play Skyward Sword. Have a good day.